This Beyond Clean Articles on the Go feature is titled, Go Out Among the Hedges, the place for sterile processing leadership in recruiting all-stars. Written by Hank Balch, founder and president of Beyond Clean. There is a classic parable about a man who decided to throw a great feast and then went to work getting it all planned down to the smallest details. But when it came time for the festivities to begin, no one showed up. There were plenty of excuses to be heard, but the bottom line was this. After all the preparations had been made, the expected guests never actually came. For many sterile processing leaders around the country, this is a familiar feeling. While we're not throwing great feasts, we are often busy making preparations, requesting new positions, submitting staffing justifications, and finagling compensation to be just a little more competitive with our new higher wages. But when the time comes for our guests to arrive, hopefully stellar candidates looking for a career in sterile processing, the knock never comes on our doors. I think there are a number of reasons why this phenomenon is common in our field. First, pay grade is a problem. For many facilities, entry-level sterile processing technicians come in around $14 an hour. While this is not the $7-plus minimum wage that comes with retail and food service positions, it is nowhere near the kind of compensation that will attract large numbers of bright, capable, career-oriented individuals on its own. Secondly, Clinical recruiting often trumps recruiting of support staff. A reality in the hospital world is that the recruiting department's time, money, and resources are focused on finding and hiring high-quality clinical staff, RNs, surgical techs, etc. Many recruiters have extensive experience hiring for nursing floors in the OR, but are not in tune with the very different needs of sterile processing departments. By the time they finish with the clinical priorities, the candidate bucket for SPD is often dry. Thirdly, we are out of sight and often out of mind. Not only is the physical location of the sterile processing department in the basement of the hospital, but it is often in the basement of the broader healthcare consciousness. Society knows about doctors and nurses, x ray techs and anesthesiologists, but who ever heard of a sterilization tech? Is that like for people? Even with these excuses for why all-stars don't just show up at an SPD manager's door, there are a number of very practical things that department leaders can be doing to ensure their positions are filled with the best technicians on the market. Number one, prepare more than just the seat cushions. Some leaders think the hard work is done once the final approval is received to hire an additional technician. They have an open chair, so why wouldn't someone amazing want to come sit in it? Often, the answer has something to do with the aroma of the department as a whole. As corny as it sounds, does your department smell like excellence? Is it a place where employees not only feel challenged and fulfilled, but also like they play a critical role in pushing the department forward? No one wants to work at a place that feels more like a hamster wheel than a department that's actually going somewhere. It's up to sterile processing leaders to direct and cultivate this culture of growth and performance excellence in the department before the recruiting banquet ever starts. Number two, take the reins and go out among the hedges. If you realize that the traditional approved and waiting recruiting model isn't meeting your needs, take a proactive approach to finding high quality candidates yourself. Find out when the local graduate schools have their job fairs and set up a booth. Reach out to nursing schools to post job openings on their employment boards. Partner with local refugee and immigrant placement agencies who often have candidates with extensive medical experience just looking for a way back into healthcare. What you can't do is continue to wait and hope that your next high performer just wanders in off the street. Is it your job to do all this? Maybe not. Does it make your job a lot easier in the future? You bet it does. Number three, clean out the rusty pipes and enjoy the rain. Once your department culture is in place, one that rewards high performers and lays out opportunity for growth, and the proactive recruiting pipelines have been opened into your local community, the initial trickle of hard-won candidates will eventually turn into a regular downpour. Birds of a professional feather like to flock together. High performers want to work among other high performers. If you can do the difficult work of breaking out of the rusty recruiting model of sit and wait, the network of all-star sterile processing techs will eventually begin recruiting themselves. The pipeline will always require attending, and you will often have more candidates than you have positions available to hire. But what a terrific problem to have! 
Do you want to find SPD All-Stars? Plan the banquet, then go out among the hedges and bring them to the feast.